Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Morgan and I own a 23 client search engine optimization agency within the UK. In this video, I'm gonna give a business update. So I'm gonna talk about how my business is doing. I'm gonna give my thoughts on effort and I'm gonna talk about burnout. The reason being is I work 14 to 16 hour days, most days, uh, because I live a very sad life, <laughs> to be honest with you. But a lot of people ask me about burnout. So I thought I'd give my thoughts on it and make a video on it. Uh, but yeah, let's get started with a business update. So today I sorted out a new CRM for the business. Uh, this CRM is designed specifically for B2B lead generation through cold outbound. So uh, that suits us very well. So I'm gonna have to move all of my data from the old CRM to the new CRM, which is obviously a headache. But if we can get a good gain in productivity through doing this, I'll be very happy. And you guys know me, I love productivity. Um, so hopefully that works out well. Um, in terms of how the business is doing, I don't think we'll have one client leave this month. And that's quite rare for an agency of this size. Say for example, 10% uh, uh, churn is average. And if you don't know what churn is, churn is the percentage of clients that leave per month. So for example, if you had a 20 client agency, you can expect two clients to leave. But I don't think we'll have one client leave this month. And that's just my hunch, right? I can't see anything on the horizon that suggests anybody will leave. Uh, every big, every client's been getting a financial ROI off our service. We clearly communicate the SEO journey and everybody seems to be incredibly happy. So my hunch is, you know, no client will leave this month, which I'm incredibly happy about because churn is the main metric that I focus on with running the agency. Obviously, you've got three things that contribute to how much we make. You've got the pricing, you've got the sales velocity and you've got the churn. And obviously, sales velocity and pricing are incredibly important. However, churn, is the one that can double your business through you know subtle changes and I've got an employee starting on Tuesday um, he was actually the least experienced candidate that I interviewed that I was really considering but something told me just to go with him uh, younger lad uh, very enterprising seems to be hard working comes across very well so I thought you know I'd give him a chance and something just told me to go with him so I thought I'd do that and you know I was a senior recruitment consultant prior to you know running this business so uh, maybe that'll pay off and maybe this will be a good decision and I think it will be he comes across very well as I say very likable guy uh, I feel like I can get I can get along well with him and yeah let's see how he helps me build out the sales division with regards to the agency and I tell you what today has been a fantastic day and I always talk about this but I measure myself on how hard I work and how well I work and today I've worked incredibly well just head down from the moment I woke up which was what 5 30 till now which is you know 7 15 I've been working uh, very with quite with quite a lot of productivity uh, I've been very productive all day so you know very happy with that and so it was yesterday evening actually yesterday evening was pretty good so thursday evenings are my only time off throughout the week that i take off and i do that to play football and i had a, i just felt like i played well so you know the last 24 hours have been great for me um but yeah, let's talk about effort. So something I'm really taking to heart at the moment is just how much effort it takes to get really good at one thing. It just takes so much work to get good. For example, if you think of someone like Kobe Bryant, someone who really inspires me, um, obviously he's passed away now, but somebody who really inspired me through their mentality, he's not shooting content all day or doing side businesses all day. It was just basketball and he was just militant about you know basketball because that was his craft. You just have to eliminate so many different things that you want to do and it's tough right for me um, I've got the business and I've got content but I also want to play football I also want to you know lift uh, a lot more than I do I also want to enjoy you know my family I also want to go see friends I also want to you know start up a million side ventures I also want to you know learn to make beats I was doing that prior um, there's so much I want to do but if you want to be truly good at one thing you need to pick one thing and eliminate everything else and it's tough to do uh, and the reason for that the reason why you have to pick uh, one thing is because it just takes so much work to get good at one thing like god's honest truth i'll work a 14 hour day on the agency and i won't even make a dent in the in the uh, to-do list and that just shows you how much work there is to be done especially at running an agency that's not even the highest of levels uh it's a decent agency we do multi six figures but it's not a massive agency but that shows just how much work i have to put in to be good at this um so splitting your time between you know various different things means you're only making incremental gains and you can never be good uh, really good at one thing and the more things you have, the more uh, each of them suffers. Like the more I play football, the more my content suffers. For example, if I was to play football every evening, I wouldn't have time for content. So you really have to make sacrifices and choose what you want to be good at. Because as I say, if you want to be good at one thing, as in like when I talk about good, I mean great. Um, it just takes so much work that you can only be good at that one thing, if that makes sense. And yeah, just the other day, somebody asked me how I deal with burnout. So I thought I'd talk about it a little bit. 
But my answer is I just try and push through as much as possible, increase my work capacity, increase my stress tolerance. That's my train of thought. And I appreciate it. it's quite counterintuitive to what a lot of people say. You don't have to take, you don't have to follow me. Uh, but just the other day, I was thinking, you know, I'm feeling quite unhappy because I felt incredibly stressed on this day. Uh, but then I started to ask myself, did I did I think this journey would be easy in terms of building a multi-six-figure business and pushing towards seven figures, you know, in the coming years? Did I think it'd be easy? No. Then as soon as I gave myself permission to feel stress, that stress went away. So don't judge yourself on feeling stress. Like you're a human being, especially if you're doing a worthwhile challenge, you are going to feel stress. Just keep trying to push. And, you know, I always feel exhausted, but I just keep trying to work. It's rare that I'll ever stop working. Um, if I'm like completely fucked, then I'll take a break. But if not, I always think of it as developing my work capacity. And the more I develop my work capacity, the happier I get. Because I always say this, but the actual hard work is the goal. And this is not my train of thought. I heard it from Alex Tormozzi and Naval, I believe. But it's something that really resonated with me. And I'll talk more about it in just a second. But you also got to remember... Your well-being has nothing to do with what you're actually going through. Your well-being has nothing to do with what you're actually doing in terms of the work. So if you're feeling stressed, remember, it's not the actual work that's feeling making you feel stressed. Uh, it's your internal. Like, if you read Man's Search for Meaning, it's about a man being very happy in the Holocaust. One of the worst conditions you could possibly be in. And that shows all between years. It's just about ma managing your mental. And as a side note, the, the likelihood is that you're only getting stressed because you're labelling something as bad. Uh, in 2023, I was beating myself up a lot about working long hours and sacrificing, you know, family and friends time. Whereas I started to unravel it and started to feel like, oh, you're actually feeling bad because you're labelling this as bad. And then as soon as I took that label away, I started accepting that, you know, I like working long hours and that there's nothing wrong with it if I enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, I've never felt bad about that before. So maybe have a look into your life and think, am I labelling anything as bad? Is that, what, is that what's causing me stress? I don't know. I think that could be helpful to yourself. Um, and if everything is on the internal and not the external, which is my belief, uh, if how I'm feeling has nothing to do with the external and I'm feeling miserable um, and because I'm a human being, I am going to feel miserable on some days, I just think to myself, you know, I might as well keep going. If I'm going to be miserable anyway, I might as well get, you know, something for it. Um, and a lot of it comes down to like, what do you want out of life? Um, I want to know that I really gave it my all in this life and I never let off the pedal for one, for a minute uh, or while spending time with my loved ones. I, I don't derive happiness from, I don't know, sitting on a beach and drinking cocktails. I derive happiness from, you know, giving it my all. And I always talk about this, but like my game is just trying to work as hard as possible. Like My happiest and proudest moments are when I look in the mirror and I know that I've given it my all. And when I talk about hard work being the goal, like what do I mean by that? I mean, like, trying to test myself on how hard I can work on a daily basis, how much I can increase my work capacity, how focused I remain, how well I can run the agency. These are all thoughts that help me with regards to keep to me pushing through and never really having to deal with burnout. As I say, there's some times where I have to take an hour or two, but I just think of it as increasing my work capacity. It's a positive thought and I think of it as a challenge and I just keep trying to go. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you tomorrow.